The 38th Commandant of the Nigerian Armed Forces Resettlement Center, Osho de Lagos, Vice Marshal Edi Gamsulubo, has called for a better welfare for retiring military personnel. Lobo emphasized on the need to help them integrate with ease into the civil world. Plastic Africa's defense correspondent, Destiny Momo, in this report, takes a look at the deliverables of the center. This neatly maintained skill acquisition center housing 42 workshops is open for retirees to choose to be trained in. These skills range from agriculture, water production, fashion design, information technology, jewelry upgrading, livestock farming, to various other profitable skills for the benefits of retirees. During the three months training, retirees can decide to choose two kinds of skill acquisition to learn from. The 38th Commandant of the Center, Air Vice Marshal Edi Gam Solubo, speaks on the journey so far in his tenure. Anyone can aspire or desire to be part of And uh, it involves sacrifice of not just body and self, but sometimes uh, our lives. You know, uh, we might have to pay the supreme price. It's a very painful, uh, you know, experience for you to see your colleagues that uh, you just saw now going airborne and not coming back, or an officer that you have taxed to embark on an operation and not return. This is the concern of a military commander. But because of the nature of what we do, that is the call to duty. It's a sacrifice for fatherland, and uh, I, I joined all families that are bereaved of their breadwinners in the course of the conflicts that we are faced with within the country and outside the country where we have our soldiers serving uh, to, to share with them the pain of having to lose a, a father or a brother but I tell you that it is service that has been instituted by God and from creation it has been so. Their sacrifice is not in vain. Uh, I believe that uh, the, uh, the, 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 the military hierarchy has in place uh, you know, aspects of uh, welfare schemes to cater for the needs of wives and children in the absence of our loved ones. And for those of us that have retired, I think there is some certain level of improvement in our you know, uh, entitlements as we are leaving the service. Uh, this came during this regime of the present uh, government uh, under the watchful eyes of President Mohammed Buhari. And we are grateful to the CMC. One of the trainers takes us through the processes of training and the skills and value it brings to the retirees. The water factory is one of the workshops in Africa. That is, in Africa is mainly a skill acquisition center that is designed to train the men of the armed forces that have served their fatherland for 35 years. So after the service, we try to give them skills that they can use to empower themselves. It's a, it's a kind of empowerment program. So this is one of the workshops where we take you through the skills acquisition. We train you on production of water, how to sell the water, how to market the water. And it takes just about three months to, to acquire the skills because we make you go through the process and some process of repairing of your machine and you go on marketing also. So it gives you a full package of what you expect out there when you are producing using the water, the challenges you come about, the what your workers are they are going to do to you because you see what the workers they do how to, they try to maneuver out how they try to work so it gives you a picture of what you see how they when you go out there and this training is learning how to produce sashi and bottle water in large quantities she is excited about the near immediate benefits once she rounds up the program I've gained a lot coming to, Na to NAFRIC as an inexperience, that somebody that has no knowledge about water factory, only drinking it on the, at home or on the street. But coming to this place, we're made to know the water uh, 
quality of a good water, then we were trained how to manage, to start the business, to manage the business. After retirement, you can always get something to fall back on and how to market it, to get a good market, all what it entails, like the nooks and the crowning of the business, the rudiment, the rudiment of the, the, the business we have been taught here. So not that when you go outside, the hanky-panky, maybe your staff want to play, everything as a student here, you learn. This is the last phase of their regimented lives. Acquiring these skills is equal to ease into civil lives. Destiny Mono for Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.